This is a most incredible story that you're about to hear. Incredible people. Looks like any other family just enjoying a Saturday afternoon, perhaps on the North Saskatchewan River. Uh, the, the family I'm about to introduce to you uh, are taking it to the next level. Uh, I introduce Benoit. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to make sure I get all of these names right. Magali. Yes. Magali. And Mally, welcome to Breakfast Television, who's just seeing himself on TV. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> um, you are doing, uh, some parents would say, the unthinkable, the incredible, the unbelievable. Tomorrow you are leaving Edmonton and you are moving home to Montreal via canoe. Yep. Yes. This is incredible. <laughs> Why and how did this, let's start with the, first of all, uh, how did this come to be that this was an idea you guys would like to pursue? Well, we, we knew we were going to do a big trip or a big break after my degree here at the U of A. Mm -hmm. uh, and we originally wanted to do a road trip down the West Coast and up the East Coast, but ran into some car issues and so we didn't really want to rely on our vehicle at that point. <laughs> so we started to think of alternative modes of transportation and my wife as a joke said, oh, let's just canoe back to Montreal. And quickly that kind of struck a chord and I was looked it up and researched it and it quickly we realized, well, a lot of people have crossed Canada by canoe over the past it's 20, doable. 30 years. Well, and, like, I'm thinking like hundreds of years ago, yeah. like in the yeah. Voyageur, yeah. you know. But even recently there's really? been uh, quite a bit of different groups that have paddled across kids. the country. This is, this is wonderful. I mean, I said to Molly, Molly you, have, you have the coolest parents on the planet. Like, I mean, this story, man, is going to give you street cred for decades. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. So uh, obviously there's got to be challenges. Many of us are sort of shaking our head going, uh, there must be, uh, how do you pack for something like this? I mean, there's no, you think of the car travel and we have this, like, how do you keep your child from getting bored? Yeah, this, I don't even think boredom is going to be an issue here. Well, I mean, obviously we didn't choose that. Uh, challenge because it wouldn't be easy. There's a lot of challenge. Uh, first of all, Mally's going to be in the boat for eight to nine hours straight. We're not stopping, so definitely needs some toys, <laughs> needs to make up some stories. He naps in the boat every day for an hour, an hour and a half, so should be fine. Um, other big challenge was the menu, right? So we know exactly what we're going to be eating for the next four months, but we've been working on that for months and months. It was quite complicated to be able to do that. Mally, just five years old, sitting there not moving, burns a ton of calories. So imagine yeah. being outside in the canoe and paddling and playing. Right, and you're not taking breaks. We're not going to see a lot like but you be will you be camping nightly yeah 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 every night and so do you have your destinations picked like do you have your you don't well no we well we have an approximation of how far along we want to be um, but basically our strategy is around five o'clock we start looking for a nice place to stop and so we give <laughs> but, ourselves but two hours but we don't really and, know exactly where yeah it's just we paddle until we find a nice spot uh, interesting Claudette who's a mom who has two beautiful kids you know her big question is how do you how do you menu this trip you know there's there, I mean you're you're essentially talking about staying on the river for four months yeah so are you is it all dry goods where are you getting your Pretty sustenance much, from yeah, yeah. We, we we have two to three weeks of food with us at a time so we have resupplies along the route gotcha um, and so we have fresh food for the first two or three days and when <laughs> we come into town we're gonna resupply on fresh goods and then it's all peanut butter from there on uh, in. For, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's quite a bit of variety we yeah, have yeah. some Indian meals and like pouches uh, we have uh, two different uh, companies backpacker pantry and happy act providing us with a great uh, dry food as well wow Mally I have to ask you are you excited to do this you're leaving tomorrow morning yeah. have you first of all have you been in a canoe before yes do you like it yes do you paddle yes do you think this is gonna be the coolest thing ever Yes. I agree with you wholeheartedly. You look excited. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> what animals? What animals can you expect to see when you're going along the river? Uh, what animals are we going to be seeing there? Fishes. Fishes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We saw beavers. I'm going to say a lot of beavers. Yeah, we saw a lot of beavers. We like them because they cut the wood for us. So when we get to shore, there's tons of. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, hey. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, this is amazing that you guys are doing this. This journey, of course, you can follow along. You'll be blogging the whole way, which is crazy cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, our website is on, their website is on our website. Um, best of luck, you Thank wonderful you adventurers. You this is Thank like, you, you have just raised the bar on family adventure. <laughs> it's going to be the best game of I spy on a trip ever. Yeah. Like, I spy with my brown eyes, a beaver. Uh, it's 817. You guys, I'll be following along the way. We will all be following along the way. Cannot wait to hear the story. Safe travels. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Super Thank cool. You. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Molly, put it there. Awesome. Have a great trip, buddy. Thank you very much. Super.